Hello friends and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's so great to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's make our arms into airplane wings out like this. Now fly those airplanes to one side, fly them over to the other side, make those arms into a T like this, and then bring those arms into a big circle out in front. Now let's stretch that circle up, up, up over our head and give a little stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top and bring that circle back down. Now it's time to sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. And let's get started with circle time. The first thing that we do is begin with the date. And when we see the date, we start up at the top with the month. Do you know what the month is? March, that's right. The month is March. And today is March 31st. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was March 30th. And today is March 31st. And right up here we have the year. You can tell me the year. There are two different ways to say the year. Would you like to say one of them? 2021 or 2021. So let's say the date one more time, all together. Today is March 31st. 2021. And look at this, friends. Today is the last day of March. Today is March 31st, the last day of the month. Tomorrow, we will begin a brand new month. Listen carefully to the words in the next song and let me know if you hear what month will come after March. It goes like this. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Were you able to hear what month will come next? After March, the month of April will come and tomorrow will be the first day of April, a brand new month. But now it's time to sing the Days of the Week song. How many fingers do we need for this next song? Will you show me? Seven! That's right. Because we have seven days in our week, we hold up seven fingers like this for the next song. You can sing along with me if you know the words. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel back down to the bottom of the chart. Do you remember what the day was yesterday? Here's your clue. Yesterday was t Tuesday. Great memories, friends. Yesterday was Tuesday. So that means that today is w Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, so tomorrow will be th Thursday. Tomorrow will be Thursday, but let's go back to today and let's sing Today is Wednesday together. It goes like this. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday all day long. Now let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring, that's right, it's springtime. And now let's travel back down to the bottom of the chart. This means that it's time to sing the weather song together. 
it goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, do you see my picture right down here? This is a picture of a cloud and something is falling from the clouds, but it's not snow. What else falls from the clouds, usually in the springtime? Rain, that's right. It's a rainy day where I live. So I was thinking that we could sing this popular song together. It goes like this. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. All my friends would like to play. Rain, rain, go away. Friends, you can still play outside in the rain. You just need to make sure that you wear the proper clothing. What would you wear to play outside in the rain? A rain hat, a rain coat, and definitely rain boots to keep your feet warm and dry when you jump in puddles. Let's take a look at my temperature chart. Ooh, it's right between light blue and orange. It's not quite cool, but not quite warm yet either. So I put it right between light blue and orange. What's the weather like where you live, friends? Look out your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now it's time to move on to the number, letter, and sign of the week. This letter says, duh, duh. Can you make that sound? That's right. This letter says, duh. And do you know what letter this is? D, that's right. This is a lowercase d. And D says, duh, duh. Now let's check out what's inside of the letter box today. I have something that starts with the letter D, D. Here's your first clue. This is something that babies or small children wear before they learn to use the toilet. Do you know what it is? Let's see. A diaper. Diaper starts with the letter D, D. And my younger son is only one. So he doesn't know how to use the toilet yet, and he wears diapers. Diaper starts with the letter D, D. This is how you write a lowercase D, D. One more time. Now let's check out the number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? 17, and 17 is a double digit number because you have to write two numbers when you write the number 17. What number is this? One, and after you write the number one, you write this number. What number is this? Seven, that's right. 17. Now let's count 17 tally marks together. One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goes across, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen goes across, sixteen, and one more makes 17. 17 tally marks. And I wonder what we'll find inside of the box to count today. I have 17 pebbles. Let me collect them all. They can all fit in one hand. And as I count them, I'll line them up across the top of the box so you can see and count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and one more pebble is seventeen. Seventeen pebbles. Now, when I look at this group of pebbles, I am looking for the largest pebble in the group. Let's see if I can spot it. Here we go. Here's the largest pebble. And now I want to find the opposite of the largest pebble. So the opposite of the largest pebble would be the smallest pebble. Let's see if I can find the smallest pebble. Here we go. The smallest pebble. The largest and the smallest. And all together, we counted 17 pebbles. Okay friends, let's practice the sign of the week. This week, we've been practicing how to say rain in sign language. Can you show me how to say a light rain in sign language? That's right, rain. And if you wanna show a heavier rain, what would you do? That's right, rain. As the snow and ice thaw and the rain falls, you can imagine that springtime is a very wet and muddy season. All of that extra water has nowhere to go and just sits on top of the ground. But what do you think happens when you mix all of that extra water with the dirt that's under the ground? That's right, you make mud. But before we move on to today's work, I have a song to share with you, and it goes like this. I'm a little dirt spot on the ground, the dirtiest little dirt spot you ever found. When I feel a raindrop fall on me, I turn into mud so happily. For today's work, you're definitely going to get those hands dirty, so make sure you're ready for that. I'm going to do today's work outside, so I'll meet you out there. So the springtime at my house can be a very wet and muddy season, but maybe you live in a place where you don't get much rain, so you wouldn't have any mud. For today's work, I'm going to show you how to make mud. All you need is dirt and water. So right here, I found a nice dry patch of dirt, and there are two ways that you can add the water. You can do it slowly, or gradually using a spray bottle and spraying the dry dirt like this until you have enough water and it starts to form mud. You can also form the mud faster by taking a bucket of water and pouring it onto the dirt like this. You can add a shovel or a stick and mix the dirt together with the water Look at this, you have mud. Now you can also do this activity inside on a plastic work tray or a baking sheet if you have brave grown-ups. Let's go back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Mud can get very messy, but just like the springtime doesn't last forever, neither does the mud. As the temperature warms up and the rain lets off, the mud will begin to dry up, but it sure is fun to play with while it lasts. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.